still no Harrison Barnes. And again, they had to do it with their defense and they've got it done on their home floor. And this is something that we talked about um, leading into this game as well, both of you, as far as what Golden State does and how difficult it makes it for everyone else. And defensively, that was your concern for Cleveland, Doug, specifically, how would they adjust? And they really weren't able to. Well, you know, the, the thing that I thought Cleveland did, they did a great job at the th defending the three-point line. Today, they're only five of 18. So that, that was a wash at the sure. three-point line. So when you do that, you give yourself a chance. Chance. If you look at the end of that game, LeBron misses three out of four free throws, or it's a two pos or one possession game with about 20 seconds to go. So they gave themselves a chance with their defense, but they just couldn't come up with a big play when they needed it. And also on the roll, one for 16 from three point range. LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love. And Kevin Love gets overlooked a lot in this equation, but only two players in league history have averaged 17 points, 10 rebounds, and shot 35 percent from three. It's Larry Bird and Kevin Love. They actually need him to wow. play well, but I don't like Kevin Love at the center. He's not a rim protector. I don't think it's as compatible as it needs to be going to side LeBron, lo alongside LeBron James. I would have liked to see Tristan Thompson hit Tristan hitting there? a lot more of those Kevin before? Absolutely. So in other words, still some adjusting to take place in Cleveland. But again, these guys haven't fully played together with Kyrie and Kevin out yeah. in the postseason as well. And, and, and again, it wears on LeBron James. As you saw tonight, he had to play extended minutes. The Golden State Warriors have multiple players on the per per perimeter. They mm -hmm. can throw at him. And you saw he started to wear down, not only with the shooting, free throw shooting, a couple of defensive lapses we don't see. Yeah. You saw Steph Curry hit him with a dribble drive. You saw them miscommunicate on an inbounds play. Gaffs that he normally does not make. 28 and 1. And I think Oof. that is enough said. Congrats to the Warriors as, as they do it again. Wasn't always pretty, but at the end of the day, a win is a win. Speaking of winning.